In this video, we cover some ideas for how you might start to introduce digital technologies, building on what you're already doing in the classroom and familiar approaches. Many of you may understandably feel overwhelmed when faced with the idea of implementing a new learning area. Many of the digital technologies concepts may be new and unfamiliar, but we'll be helping you through this course, and by the end of it, you'll hopefully feel much more confident and comfortable with the terminology and the concepts. Digital technologies doesn't have to be a scary lesson isolated on its own. In fact, many unit themes and lessons that you're already doing may have many relevant connections to digital technologies and computational thinking. The expertise and the knowledge that you hold of other learning areas will enable you to make these connections and see possible connections. And these will become more apparent as you move through this course. Integrating digital technologies with other learning areas or by using a theme or topic as a foundation for your activities may help with making the subject area relevant, fun and less scary for you to teach and students to learn. In fact, digital technologies can also be a way to support the teaching of other learning areas such as mathematics or literacy. An example of this is by having students explore geometry with visual programming by drawing features of shapes using pencil code or by using visual programming as a new medium for creating narratives through the creation of animations. Digital technologies in the classroom can provide the basis for some unique and exciting themes. Existing common themes or units also have some excellent connections for exploring digital technologies. There are a number of books that can be a great way to introduce a digital technologies lesson or a topic in a classroom activity. These could be books that support the topics related to digital technologies, such as When Charlie McButton Lost Power by Susan Collins, or G is for Google by David Schwartz. There are also some fantastic books for exploring innovation and creativity, as well as building resilience. For example, Rosie Revere series by Andrea Betty. Alternatively, you could create your own book for the class or have students create their own book about digital technologies topics. There are many other resources that could provide lesson starters. For example, there are many news media sites that include science and technology themes, whereby you can view the latest technology and innovation. For example, we've pinned a video where a female computer scientist explains how she uses physics and data with computer science in order to design the animation for Rapunzel's hair. In another, we have computer scientists have recreated wings with 3D technologies. Drawing on real world problems and technologies and the application of computational thinking can help students see how the subject area may be relevant and more meaningful to their lives and help students realize that digital technologies can be used as a tool to solve human problems. A misconception is that computer scientists work alone doing desktop work or just coding. But computer science is about solving problems and there are many fascinating jobs that computer scientists can do. But you could also engage with students to find out what they already know about digital technologies, what they would like to do and what they'd like to find out or what interests them with digital technologies. Digital technologies is a fascinating area that offers many opportunities for learning and teaching. 